In 2015, same-sex marriage was legalized in all United States. This is a tremendous milestone for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning, or LGBTQ history. When seeing how far the community has come, it is very important to look back at what made it what it is today. The LGBTQ community has done a lot of exploring, encountering, and exchanging, especially in the Stonewall Riots. I am John Rutherford, and this is a look back to the explorations, encounters, and exchanges in the Stonewall Riots. Just recently, the Supreme Court ruled that same-sex marriage would be legalized in all United States. This has been long awaited by same-sex couples and allies. A victory for gay and lesbian couples who have fought so long for their basic civil rights. It's a victory for their children, whose families will now be recognized as equal to any other. It's a victory for the allies and friends and supporters who spent years, even decades, working and praying for change to come. Homosexuality is highly embraced in today's society. This is very different from how it was back in the 1960s. Like Wallace. Homosexuality is an enigma. Even in this era of bold sexual mores, it remains a subject that people find disturbing, embarrassing, and the reluctance to discuss it. Yet there is a growing concern about homosexuals in society, about their increasing visibility. Back in the 1950s, homosexuality was thought to be curable through horrible methods like electroshock therapy. It was also not uncommon to be persecuted or even killed for being homosexual. Sadly, the 60s were not much different. That was until 1969 on the night that changed LGBTQ history forever. Stonewall Inn was extremely loud, crowded, and dirty. This mafia-run bar was one of the very few places where LGBT people could really be themselves in New York City. At Stonewall, they could dance to good music and interact with each other. The Stonewall Inn was in full swing like any other night until a loud bang on the door changed the mood very quickly. The door was opened and the police came rushing in, threatening to take everyone under arrest. After the police made this threat, everyone scattered. As many were being arrested, the crowd got angrier. The crowd began to throw small things like coins and bottles at the officers. The crowd began throwing larger things like cobblestone and rocks. The rioters exchanged violence and vandalism with their suppressors. This was when the police knew that everything was out of their control. The police encountered people who were fighting for their rights. The police force tried and tried to hold back the crowd, but it was no use. At that moment, the police knew exactly what they had to do. The police had to retreat. Something new and unusual had happened that night. The minority was successful. The 
news of all of this spread very quickly. It was a surprise that the rioters had fought back. Many police reports were filed for these events. Protests and rallies followed the riots for a while. The LGBTQ community explored the boundaries of their rights. A gay liberation front was created to support lesbian and gay people. This group started and participated in a lot of rallies. Stonewall was a night of change. I got there about an hour after it started. The scene that I was focused on, which I'll never forget, was the famous line where all the drag queens were doing a Rockettes kick line, singing, we are the Stonewall girls, we wear our hair in curls. We wear our dungarees above our nelly knees. When it comes to boys, we merely hip my toe. And that's when it That was enough of that. <laughs> the cops just got us. Well, I said to myself, heaven has arrived. The thing that was going through my head was good. Finally, why not? I spent the whole rest of the night throwing rocks and making uh, um, lame attempts at turning over cars. And it was a ball. These were our sisters. They were all fighting. and. I couldn't walk away. I didn't want to walk away. I remember it being fabulous. Or as I say, fabulous. And that brings us to present day. Homosexuality is not seen as a disease anymore, but simply the way that you're born. That was a look back to the explorations, encounters, and exchanges in the Stonewall Riots. Thank you for watching.